Oh my gosh, you guys. I almost died just now because of Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, look at this view. For those of you who don't know, that is the Tacoma Bridge in Tacoma, Washington, United States. I have been here for a few days and I've just been exploring a little bit of Washington. This is actually my third vlog in my Washington road trip series. My first video was road tripping from Vancouver Island all the way to Tacoma, Washington. And it was actually a 12 hour travel day for me, which is longer than I had anticipated. So if you guys wanna watch that, make sure to do so. My second vlog was filmed yesterday, which I was exploring the beautiful Seattle with my cousin and we got up to some incredible experiences that I cannot wait for you guys to see so if you haven't checked that out make sure to do that also but today is day three and we are going to be exploring this beautiful city of Tacoma and I cannot wait to take you guys along with me all right, so we just got to Point Rustin. And one thing that I have learned about this city is that it is very difficult to find parking. And a lot of parking, especially in Seattle, is extremely expensive. So it's really good to do research because you can get lucky and find some more affordable places to park if you do look in the area in advance. Right now, we're just going to go into a coffee shop called Anthem and it had really good reviews and looks like it makes some good coffee. And I need a coffee right now because I can feel my eyes like dragging shot. <laughs> So we just finished up having brunch at Anthem Tea and Coffee and that was the best avocado toast I have ever had in my life and I also had a lavender white chocolate mocha and it was to die for. It was my first time having lavender in a coffee and it was just so good and I got a second coffee and this is creme brulee and it is just so delicious so I highly recommend Anthem Tea and Coffee at Point Rustin if you are ever in the area. So Esty just took me to her favorite shop in Point Rustin and it's called The Manic Mermaid. And I got a little gift for Josh from here. I got Josh a white geode that he can break with a hammer or just like slam it on the concrete. And then when it opens up, it's like super beautiful. So I got him that because he loves rocks and shells and all of those things. The man who works in there is so lovely. I highly recommend going to that place um, if you're interested. They have such a wide variety of pretty stones and it's just so charming. And I also think that the owner might be a Christian because there were lots of like devotional books and there was a mug that said like Jesus coffee bacon naps or something like that and it was really cute and so now we are just going to drive to point defiance park it's not a very far drive away from here and we're just gonna go explore there which should be good point defiance park sorry the sun is very bright in my eyes so i'm squinting we are walking to the japanese gardens and there's so many geese and little ducks here it's really and crows. cute Don't and crows, crows lots of crows <laughs> beautiful blue skies spring is really on its way let's go Oh my gosh, you guys. I almost died just now because a bug threw, a bug flew down my throat while I was talking and I felt it in my throat for like two minutes and it was disgusting. And I was like coughing, trying to get it out and I could not. And then I drank a bunch of Estee's water to like try and get it down, it didn't work. And then I burped and then I couldn't feel the bug anymore. <laughs> I'm no expert on biology, but maybe burps kill bugs that are in your throat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
We just finished walking around the Japanese gardens and it was so beautiful, so calm, relaxing. It was just so lovely, like standing by the pond, looking at the ducks and the squirrels. And now we're gonna go get some ice cream and walk along the peninsula. We are now at Brown Family Vineyards Tasting and we are going to try some wines. So these are our tasting options and we are going to go for this one. A selection of rosés, whites and reds. And it's called Tacoma Flight so it's fitting to the travel experience. <laughs> So just a little quick review, my cousin and I weren't the biggest fans of these wines. It might have just been the package we chose, but they tasted a little bit watered down. And when we talked to our wine steward about it, she said that it's actually really common for American wines to have a fair amount of water added to them. So I don't really know if I would recommend this. However, it was still really nice sharing this experience with my cousin and she knows a lot more about wines than me. So I learned a lot from her during this wine tasting. We made it home and we just had dinner with Esti's host family and they are so lovely. We just had some spaghetti bolognese and it was really yummy. And tomorrow is a big day because I'm traveling back to Canada. <sighs> Lots of trouble. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't watched the last two videos of my trip, Make sure to do so. I will see you next week, Wednesday. Bye.